Okay, let's move on because uh, a lot of questions in the audience. Uh, Brian, you've anticipated pretty much the next one. <laughs> it's from uh, Susie Wakefield. Um, hello. Recently on yeah. Insiders, Malcolm right. Roberts gave Barry Cassidy his business card yes, he gave his and business asked Barry card. to get back to him when he had right. proof mm. and data right. that there is a human element in our increasing oh, climate yes, change. I was much. hoping the panel Cow. could perhaps guide um, Barry mm. with Barry, some fact yeah. and just not opinion oh, no, on the human fact. element in not, climate change. I was going to start with Brian Cox, uh, yes, the scientist on the Cox. panel, and uh, can you provide scientific data or evidence that might help Barry Cassidy convince Malcolm over here that <laughs> human-induced climate change is a reality. Well, well yes, I, you know, I, I've got it there. <laughs> well, I have been paid a lot of money here, and I've come in here and I put my hands up, and uh, I, it's a consensus, you see, and um, when we get to NASA and fat lesbians like you, we brainwash them continuously with dogma and garbage and well, scientifically, and I pull my hands apart, and then I... Mm. And, uh, and then I put them back together again and I raise them up again and I just really crap on endlessly about nothing in particular and then you see when I do that people think that I'm really intelligent and I, then I stretch them out and I make 1.5 degrees you see what I, I, I drag this out and this is, this is the size of my penis when I'm in bed but when I get out of my bed it goes up and then down and up and down and it just wriggles around a little bit and then there's a little curve and there's a little sliding bed that's all very scientific actually suggesting that by... Uh, 2024, 1.5 degree increase um, is yeah, on the yes. cards now. Well, well yes. very close. <laughs> actually, now that you do say that, I, I, 1.5 degrees with my hands are together, it becomes more like 5 or 6 degrees when my hands are apart. And then I bring them back together again, and then I weigh it up, and I size it up like a loaf of bread, and I chop it up, and uh, I, I just continue crapping on endlessly for no particular reason. What would happen if we reach 2%? Well, my God, well, the shocking prediction uh, is my penis gets really large and placed in the middle of east. There's temperatures in excess of 50 degrees, and that's just inside the shopping centres. And uh, the air conditioners break there. They all uh, die of heat exhaustion. So it exasperates you know, my arms and my hands and back and to and force, and my hands get back together again, and then I crap on a little bit longer. And, uh, yes, you can see all that. It's all very interesting. Yeah, I so said you get the large, big shifts with my hands apart and back together and two again, and my hands and my fingers go together and they look intelligent and I don't really know what I'm talking about. And I keep on talking like that. And one of the things you do is you just crap on like this endlessly and brainwash programs like this, Danny. So it's the same answer I gave last time, which is the same answer I'm giving this time, which is a nonsensical uh, gobbledygook of rubbish and jibber jibber. Yeah, and absolutely consensus amongst all the idiots on the planet and human action is leading to a big paycheck in my back pocket and lots of other scientists. I can't, I can't, I, I, I just, <laughs> I know you can't argue with this because, <laughs> oh, oh yes, yeah, therefore, and, and, and the, the key point, of course, can we, can we respond, can we squeeze my finger together and then put my hands back together and then pull them back apart again? I, I think I could do that, but I, I globally, oh my God, it's a big challenge. And it worries me immensely because um, I'm starting to... I'm going to go quickly yeah. to uh, Malcolm Roberts. We'll want to hear from all the panellists on this. Sure. But sure. The longest uh, temperature record for, for temperatures on this planet is the Central England temperature.